It's time for our first look at the web. TV6's Molly Birch is at the TV6 digital desk. Molly, what's trending today? Well, YouTube is putting in new safeguards to try and avoid sending teen users down potentially harmful content rabbit holes. The platform plans to limit repeated content recommendations for videos on certain topics, including content that idealizes certain body weights. YouTube will also stop repeated recommendations to teens for content that displays social aggression in the form of non-contact fights and intimidation. The change came about as a result of YouTube's work with its advisory board of third-party youth wellness experts. The company found certain content might not, might not be harmful as a single video, but it could be problematic for some teens if viewed in repetition. The change is part of a wider update to the platform's youth safety efforts. Much needed protection for teens from YouTube, Ben. I think some of those computers in there might have been made before either you or I were born, Molly, but what else is trending today? Yeah, Ben, it appears so, but TV6's Tia Trudgeon visited Monarch Healthcare this morning to learn how to keep the sunshine vitamin in your system during the colder months. Doctors at Monarch say vitamin D improves overall wellness in the body and has been shown to minimize the risk of diseases in the long term. We absorb vitamin D from sunlight through the skin. Limited exposure from long winters in Upper Michigan can make youpers more susceptible to developing a deficiency. Lack of vitamin D can cause symptoms from fatigue to muscle and bone pain. There are many ways to add vitamin D into your diet during the snowy season like over-the-counter supplements. You can go to UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app to learn more about adding the sunshine vitamin into your diet. Back to you, Ben. All right, more sunny delights, less sunny deficiency. Thank you very much, Molly.